overall design of it like the little print and whatever it looks quite um i guess like a teenager print hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you enjoy shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel you'll super love it so guys if you watch my last video i'm wearing the exact same thing because it is the same day so yeah i had a day off today i went to the shops and i got my nails did in like this very boring beige peach color there used to be a dark red but you know when dark red chips it looks pretty bad so i opted for a muted color uh, this is just acrylic i mean it's it's not that fancy but anyway i did that and i'm going to my friend's 30th um kind of birthday lunch thing tomorrow so i was looking for a birthday present for her and i picked up a few things um yeah, so I'll just show you guys what I got here while we're here because, you know, it's fun sharing things. I got here a really, really cute um, coin purse from the brand Mary Mecco. And they kind of, uh, I think they're known for like printing on um, fabric in there. Like they're pretty famous for their prints. So this is a little cute little coin purse. And she's an, like, an art teacher, so I thought she'd get into the Mary Mecco stuff. And guys, I bought three hair clips because I'm super obsessed with them. And uh, they're $20 each. So I spent $60 on hair clips, but I thought I'd give one to my friend as well. It's this like um, kind of a teal brown acrylic hair clip. And I'm wearing one in my hair at the moment. Um, I know it's, it just reminds me of being like eight years old with these, like how these are coming back in fashion. Anyway, guys, so I got that. And I'm going to give her Chanel hand cream as well, but I couldn't resist. I bought another gold clampy one for myself. It was at this little Korean store. Really cute stuff, guys. I'm just like, oh, this hair clip is so cool. So anyway, I got those hair clips. But anyway, guys, I really wanted to share with you guys something I bought from Hermes this week. And yes, guys, I am a little bit obsessed with Hermes lately. I am not trying to buy a Birkin or a Kelly from the store. I think that is pretty impossible for me. But, you know, I did want to buy some new winter boots and I am obsessed with boots, guys. I probably have too many. And one day I was on the Hermes website, you know, kind of just, you know, stalking it, looking at it. And I saw these really cute sock boots on the website and I thought, oh, I'd love to try those. They look really nice. And, you know, I did kind of want to explore Hermes shoes because from what I've heard, they're super comfortable and they're quite, you know, practical and you really get your cost per wear out of them because they're just pretty simple and classic designs. Like, you know, a lot of people have the all-around sandals and that sort of thing. But me being in Melbourne, I probably would get more use out of like sneakers or boots. So anyway, I just wanted to explore the shoe category of Hermes and saw these sock boots. Um, and then um, a few days later, I went to check if they were still there and they were gone. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess they're gone now but anyway I went into the Hermes store one day because I was wanting to see if they had a mini Evelyn and they did not guys but while I was waiting for the sales associate I noticed the sock boots in like a beige color on the display in a 38 which is my size and I gave them a go and I thought mm, kind of wish they were black don't know if I love the beige and anyway I left after that and it just so happens that one of my friends has a sales associate at Hermes and I asked my friend if they knew if they had these black sock boots and I sent my friend the photo and then they sent the sales associate the photo and the sales associate said that they actually had one black pair left in the store in a size 38 guys and that they could hold it for me until if I want to go over and try them on. So guys, I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell? Are they like popular? Like what's going on? Anyway, I was sucked in. So I made my way over there and I picked them up, guys. So these are the Hermes soccer boots that I'm super obsessed with. And I don't know why, guys. I just I think I will wear these so much. I've already worn them. So guys, why don't I have the box? Well, basically, I wanted to do a fancy unboxing and everything, but... I got the box because um, I bought them like after work or, or yeah I bought them after work and then I had to go out to dinner and so I left the box at work and I, I just popped them straight on my feet straight away because I just wanted to wear them straight away because they look so cool and I've left the box at work and ever since I've got them I've been wearing them well I wore them today as well so I've worn them twice so far in like three days 
Um, and yeah, I, today I wore them all day. They were really comfortable. So I am usually a seven and a half, so I got a size 38. Um, they are a little bit roomy, but they don't slouch down or anything. They're, or you know how sock boots, if they're too big, they sometimes scuff down and they look weird. These definitely don't do that. They definitely hold the shape. They have this little bit at the back and little um, circle here. And I love the knitted detail at the front. To be honest, guys, if I end up wearing these so, so, so much, I might actually get another color because they are really comfortable. They also came in that beige color I was talking about. And um, I think I saw a navy blue. Um, and at the bottom it says Hermes, and it's got wood here, and yeah, I've already worn them quite a bit, but yeah, I, I think they'll just be so good for winter. Um, I'm always on the lookout for the perfect winter boots, guys, so um, yeah. Hey guys, this was basically my outfit of the day. Sorry about this kind of selfie cam thing, but I wore this um, Arquette shirt which I got secondhand um, at like a secondhand shop, I guess. And uh, these pants are linen pants from the brand Dress Up. And my boots are my new Hermes sock boots, which were super comfy. And I'm wearing my Chanel 19 bag. And yep, yeah, this is my look. So you can see the sock boots fit pretty. Like they're not super snug, but they don't... Um, like crinkle up too much and they don't kind of like misshapen and slide down and I love how they have that little knitted detail on the front there and yeah just wanted to show you that just to give you the idea of how I would style these boots they basically go with like everything it's really just like whoa such a staple I think if you can see see that's what it looks like it's got a little logo there um, yeah, so I wore them the other night and they still look pretty good. There's no like rips in the knit or anything. I was thinking would this wear very well, but I feel like it should be okay. I don't know guys, like they were pretty expensive, but how cute are they? And that's the top of it. It's And it hasn't given me blisters or anything. I'm not sure if that's going to stretch out over time, that little kind of uh, top part, but... They're super comfy, guys, so I would recommend if you're into sock boots, like the these Hermes ones. I'll show you guys the other boots in my sock boot collection because I'm, set, I'm just obsessed with boots, guys. I think sock boots are so easy to wear because they kind of fit really snugly under some, like, loose trousers. Or even they kind of look a little bit more flattering with, like, skirts and things as opposed to chunky boots sometimes that don't work. They're just easier to tuck under things, I find. And um, I always kind of wanted the Balenciaga sock boots, but I feel like they're probably a little bit too trendy now. So I think Hermes ones for me were just, like, a good option because they're kind of more of that, I don't know, basic kind of style. Um, but I also previously previously bought the Stella McCartney kind of boots like these on sale. And I bought these for, so the Hermes ones were obviously full price, but I bought these for on sale. And I definitely regret buying these because these are really not that comfortable. I think because maybe, it could be because they're not real leather. They're, they are Stella McCartney. They do look awesome on though, guys. And they're more of a stretchy tight fit, but they're really not comfy. And the heel is a lot higher as well, but... Anyway, that's another sock boot that looks really cool. Um, I also have these ones from Senso, which obviously they were a lot cheaper than the Hermes ones. Um, these are made in China. Um, and I find that the knit part of these is quite flimsy and it kind of sags a little bit around my ankle. Also, the interior bit doesn't feel as nice. I can't explain it. I mean, they were like way cheaper than the Hermes ones, but... Yeah, um, I just, uh, these are good too. If you're looking for a sock boot, they're not too bad. I have tried other brands. I had Tony Bianco sock boots. They sucked. Like, I don't know. They just, I just threw them out after like a, a few months. They just didn't really last that well. Um, these Senso ones are okay, but I only wore them a few times and the heel tips wore down. Like, I don't know. I think they fell off and then I had to get them redone. Um, so yeah, I, sock boots are something I wear quite a lot. So I also have these awesome ones, which I got from Netta Porter. Um, these are more of a combat style, um, and they're a sock boot as well, but they're really good just slip-on ones. They don't actually have 
like the laces you don't actually need them you can just slip them on and I just love that they're really flattering and they fit really well under like loose fit pants and these are low fleur randall um, and I got those on sale from Nina Porter but if you're looking for like more of a combat style sock boot these are really good these actually feel just as I don't know if they're just as nice as the as the Hermes ones I mean they were way cheaper the earth may as well just have a lot more detail you can see how they're like fully knitted it's quite they're quite intricate like so they've fully knitted like this part at the front and this little sock bit here whereas um you know if you go for something a little less expensive they're less detailed but you know that's what you're paying for so yeah i mean i can see why these are expensive but oh uh, yeah they were they were yeah that's those so anyway guys and also, I thought I'd just talk about, you know, my feelings about buying another Louis Vuitton bag. Now, I have noticed the new leopard print collection, kind of jungle collection. Uh, there is a lot of more sneak peeks. So I saw a Speedy in brown with kind of uh, leopard print sides that I actually think looks really cool. But to me, the leopard print in this collection um, kind of looks a little bit cartoony and childlike almost reminds me of like Lisa Frank or something which I love Lisa Frank but Lisa Frank is not expensive guys so if you want to spend this much money I don't know if I necessarily want to look like I got you know a bag from Kmart or something like that's the only thing I don't love about this leopard print it almost looks like someone just like quickly drew it on Illustrator or something it doesn't look like that luxurious but I, I am actually thinking of adding another Speedy to my collection. And I do like the colour scheme of this. So I'm not sure. I was in Zara today, guys. And I saw um, a girl with a Speedy. I think it was a Speedy 30 in the giant monogram. Kind of remember when they had that reverse monogram Speedy? It, it looked so good on her, guys. Like, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, that Speedy is so cute. Um, and she kind of had a... I don't know, it suit, the colour scheme really suited her. I don't know if the reverse suits me as much, but she just looks so cool with that Speedy. So I don't know, that kind of triggered me. I was just like, oh my god, I need that Speedy. That is so cute, the reverse monogram. But um, I thought, you know, the Leopard Print Collection one looks really cool too. It's kind of also that neutral kind of brown colour scheme. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about this Leopard Print Collection? Um, I also really like the look of the multi pochette in this collection with the black black on prompt leather and the leopard print around the trim i think that's really cute and i think there's also going to be a felici in a similar color scheme so that is tempting um and of course there's going to be a pochette matisse now i actually don't mind the pochette matisse in this um i think it actually looks really cute but I think for the price, it doesn't look expensive. It just, I think the overall design of it, like the little print and whatever, it looks quite, um, I guess, like a teenager print. And it just doesn't look expensive to me. But I do like the color scheme with like the little hints of pink and the brown tones. Quite neutral, but yeah, I, I don't know. I guess if I was like a baller, I might buy it. But it, it doesn't really look like how much it's gonna cost basically um whereas the speedy at least it has you know more brown leather on it but yeah i don't know anyway i'm really tempted to buy another speedy i i'm still on the search for you know the perfect one so we will see you guys um and yeah anyway thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and yeah thanks for listening to me blab on